All right, I carefully cut one cell with the sawzall off camera just to see how hard it was going to be, and it wasn't bad at all. Let me uh, get this camera positioned. Forgive me for the jerkiness. I'm trying to get the camera in position in the bed of the truck with a flexible bed liner and get it out of my way so I can cut. So I'm doing running this really, really slow, trying not to short anything out. Okay, now I gotta cut in the middle and then I can try to lift these guys out. These are the burnout dead cells, dead short. So I've gotta reposition myself here. This is gonna be the awkward cut because of the location of that. Location of the wires, sorry about that. Can you still see what I'm doing? Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, variable speed sawzall makes this job very nice, I have to say. So I've got one, two, three, four, wait, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, cut here. Make sure I'm going to measure that, make sure I'm getting my 12 volts. Uh, I can't see my camera what I'm doing here, sorry about that. I uh, should have, if I measure from here to here, I should have 12 volts. Before I do my cutting, I'm going to have two 12 volt battery banks and two sets of dead or weakened cells which will be on reserve for later. Minus to plus, that should be a 12 volt, oh look at that, 12.10, 12 12.12, oh, 12 0.13 odd, 12.13 volts. Not too bad actually, not bad at all. So then I've got... Two, three, four, five, six. I don't like that one, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna go from minus one, two, three, four, five, six to plus. And I've got 12.18 volts. Not bad. Alright, I'm gonna continue cutting these cells apart. So I've got two battery banks, two 12 volt battery banks that I can then work with here. And then in the meantime, I'm going to, or after that, then I'm going to experiment with trying to lift these out of there. So you don't have to watch me cut these, but I'm going to separate these other two battery banks. All right, I could not lift one of the cells out by hand right now. There's too much corrosion in between the cell and the case of the battery bank. So that's a problem right now. And again, that's why people don't use these batteries for off grid living applications because. They're a nightmare to handle and to maneuver around. I've got my DC generator running right now and warming up. I've got my truck parked over next to it so I can reach it with the wires. And I'm going to go back in and get my safety goggles when working around this with power applied. Once that engine's warmed up, I'm going to apply the cables, power cables, to it and start letting that charge up a little while. Now my DC generator, for those of you that do not know, is just a Harbor Freight engine with a car alternator. And it's a 100 amp uh, alternator. So basically one hour of running is 100 amp hours pumped into that battery bank. I'm figuring this is probably minimum 1200 amp hours, uh, but divided up into three. Uh, actually. 6, 12, 1800, probably at least 1800 to 2000 amp hours. Each, each set should be around 6 to 800, roughly, roughly. I'm, I'm only guessing based on my experience searching the net. 
and considering that it's a now I have individual 12 volt battery banks in this big box so in a minute here I'll be hooking that up and see if it'll take a charge come up to around 14 and a half volts in a very short time because that's the average charging voltage of a car 14 14 and a half volts so I'm gonna keep a close eye on it here in the next 30 minutes and then I'm gonna let it run for an hour total and then I'll let the batteries rest a while and then I'm gonna check the voltage again now I'm really desperate to do this because they are now outdoors and not in a warehouse anymore and I do not want any of these cells freezing without a charge in them. Uh, that will destroy them. So that's why I'm immediately charging them even before I get it off the truck. I realize that I do not have enough time to dismantle this entire thing piece by piece and get it off the truck tonight. I've only got an hour and a half of daylight left. So this is where it's going to stay tonight. So my most important thing right now is getting a charge inside these, these uh, battery banks. Now I've swapped battery banks over here, charging. I've got the second bank charging now and I've got the caps off the cells and I'm watching for gassing. And a couple of the cells are giving occasional bubbles already. Now, these have been sitting and resting for a little bit. I'm going to check their voltage and see what they're sitting at right now. I'll be back with the camera in a minute. Alright, this battery bank is sitting at 13.01 right now. But it's only been resting for like maybe 10 minutes max. And that bank is now charging on the DC generator, which is again just a car alternator. So I'm treating this like a car battery right now just to put some charge into the cells before the freeze tonight. That'll protect them from freezing and getting damaged tonight. Then tomorrow I'll worry about getting this massive battery off the bed of my truck. Then I have more time to deal with it. Forgive the darkness. 
I am working on my batteries. It's only five o'clock in the afternoon. You'd think it was midnight. I was just out here measuring voltages. Now I've got some very good news. After such a short time on the charger, my first battery bank I've had on the charger is resting at 12.65 volts. Now that was only maybe an hour on the charger total, on the DC charger. Each cell I just measured individually is resting at about 2.11 and 2.2, uh, between 2.11 and 2.12 volts for a total of 12.65 volts resting. Sorry, I'm trying to speak very loud and clear to be louder than the generator. And I just put the caps back on them. They're gonna be, they're done for the night. I'm done with them tonight. Soon I'll stop charging these. These are sitting at 13.86 right now. My second battery bank on my gigantic forklift battery. And I'll shut off the DC generator pretty soon. There's some little, little bit of boiling going on, but just a couple little bubbles coming up. Nothing much really yet. So I'm gonna let them keep charging for a while. And uh, soon I'll, I'll shut that all down and let them rest for the night. We'll come back to it all again tomorrow. Well, my DC charger just ran out of gas, which is good, because I wanted to shut it off soon anyway. So I've got to really quickly disconnect the cables because the alternator is being energized through those wires. So now I'll let these rest a while. I'm gonna put the caps back on and I'm gonna let these rest a while then I'll come back and check the voltages again and hopefully they'll be holding the charge now they each got the generator runs uh, five hours I'm not sure how long I've had it running but it usually runs five hours on a tank of gas and I divided it up roughly between these two so I'm not quite sure I wasn't paying attention to the time but batteries are uh, should have a good charge in them for now and it'll keep them from freezing tonight so anyway I'll let them rest a while and come back and test them